Hey everyone, it's Jamie Flies. It's day number nine of my 90 day vlog challenge. If you haven't joined us yet, what are you waiting for? Get on it. Hashtag 90 day vlog challenge. So yesterday I was talking about shiny ball syndrome, right? Told you I have a little bit of that. I got to keep myself in check and I don't know if you have to or not. I'm waiting for those comments from you. If you haven't commented yet, let me know. But I'm going to talk a little bit today about why it is good to make financial transactions in order to get more financial transactions. I know you're like, what? You just told me yesterday to not buy stuff. Well, hold up, that's not exactly true. I did tell you that if you're the type of person that actually utilizes what you already have, by all means, go buy some more things to increase your skill. And that's what I'm gonna talk about. You wanna make more financial transactions to upgrade your equipment and to enhance your skill. Obviously, if you're that person that I was talking about yesterday that buys a bunch of stuff and never actually goes to the training or goes to the training and doesn't utilize it, well, then you just need to concentrate on what you already got. But if you're that person, which I hope you are, and if you're not, you should be and can be, and I'm waiting. Are you that person yet? Yeah, I thought you were. Okay. <laughs> so you should be the type of person that is constantly learning and growing. And when the process of learning and growing, you should be increasing your skill. That might be taking a training course, that might be going to a seminar, that might be buying a book or a DVD and so on and so forth. I think you catch my drift already. Yes, you do. So another thing is, is if you're an entrepreneur or whatever you, you do, whether you're a painter or whatever, increasing, uh, making financial transactions to upgrade your equipment, upgrade your supplies so you can be more proficient at what you already do. So now I'm going to show you our upgrade that we did, okay? I'm so excited about this. Okay, so this big old green thing behind me, come check this out, right? All right, so I, don't, I can't see if you guys can totally see the frame. I, I hope you can. But we have two lights. Hopefully you can see that. And a humongous green screen, okay? So this is going to be for us to shoot some more videos. We're not going to do all of our videos here. Um, but we are going to do some of them. I'm not actually going to show you how the green screen works today, but I will make sure to do that tomorrow. So one of the things that we do is as we make more money, we look at what we currently have as far as um, our knowledge, as our training goes, as well as our equipment. And then we think about how can we increase our skill as well as make our job easier. So one of the things that we needed for a long time, well, I don't think we needed the green screen. That part was kind of fun, but we needed better lighting, which we did get. So we have amazing lighting now, so that's awesome. And the green screen's just cool, okay? There's nothing else, I mean, I don't know if you know how this works. I'll show you tomorrow how it works. They're just really fun. So that was kind of a, a silly thing, but it's something that I've wanted for a long time. And um, actually below this uh, video, whether you're on the blog or whatever, um, there's gonna be a link to the package that we got. We got an amazing deal um, on this whole setup. And that way you can have your own cool green screen videos. And I'll actually show you, I'll have to do like a tutorial on how you actually make yours, okay? Um, it's actually very, very simple. And depending on what kind of software you have, uh, Larry uses a different software program that I use. So I, I'll see if I can get him to do a tutorial on his and I'll do a tutorial on mine so that way if you have either one of our programs it'll help you out. So instead of using our really cool uh, Canon T4i I'm actually using my iPhone to shoot this video because I wanted to make it sort of quick and just show you guys around real quick but like I said in order to make more financial transactions not only do you have to utilize what you currently have to the most efficient maximum that you possibly can like we talked about yesterday but you also need to look at making more financial transactions so you can increase your skill and what be more proficient at what you already do by buying some awesome amazing equipment that's going to increase your sales increase your bottom line all right that's all i got for you today i hope you learned something and got a little something from this i'll make sure that the video tomorrow is longer still not feeling good so if you hear the kind of congestion going on i'm working on getting that all out comment below i'll see you tomorrow bye for now